Hey guys, and welcome back here with Nerdbound, and I am here to do another uh, tutorial with you. And what I'm going to cover in this one is actually going to be a little bit different. Um, so the troubleshooting that I went through with you was kind of like basic what might be wrong if it's doing this or that. If it's infinitely loading, you might want to go back and update your update folder or your mods folder in OpenIV. If some of your vehicles are not showing up or some of the stuff that you know you put in there is not showing up, go check your DLC list. If your game's crashing, you know you added cars, go check your config. All right, but what we're going to do in this one is we're going to go back through here and we're going to check through some of these different logs. Um, so, like, there's right here, crash report right here. Um, there's crash report, there's an ELS log. Uh, so what I'm going to start with is right here, Rage, plug and hook log. And what I'm going to do with this is this is kind of what, when you hit F4, this is the log that will appear. And this kind of goes through it. So when this started, and when initializing my input system, initializing game console, console key is set to F4. So this kind of all happens before I even get a chance to do anything. And then it initializes a variable console scroll amount. So that's, I can scroll, um, but that's more or less when you're talking about in the game and you press F4, uh, and I will show you that in just a little bit so that you can actually do it as you're playing the game. Uh, and I want you guys to be understand that these are all tools that are meant to help with you um, so that you can be able to actually kind of go through the troubleshooting process um, and the reason I know that is because I know a lot of people come and then they're always asking for help. And they're always asking, you know, can you help me with my game? Can you help me with my game? And honestly, I think a lot of people would love to, but the, the amount of people who want to get the help, I think it just kind of overwhelms some of the people who are out there trying to do this. Because a lot of people do this for free. A lot of people, you know, they don't make any money off of this. This is just kind of something they do in their side hobby. And then people kind of bombard them and are rude to them and, you know, you're not helping me. And it's just getting to a certain point where if you guys would like to learn how to do this on your own, I would suggest watching these videos and then going through a little bit of this with me. Um, so, I mean, we can go through all of this. This is Detected Windows 7 Professional. That's just saying that's what I'm running. It's checking game support, my product name. This is what the product is, the product version. I'm at 12.9. Uh, um, is Steam version, it says true, initializing DirectX, and this is a whole bunch of different stuff. It's more or less what we're going into, let's see. Okay, so I shut it down, everything loaded successfully. Uh, all my spotlights. This is all elbow, because he does everything, almost, <laughs> almost everything. No, but seriously, he, Elbow is one of my favorite people. Hey, he even did Siren Mastery. This is actually literally all Elbow. Elbow 1125. Or, sorry. You know, for the longest time, I called him 1125. For, and then I actually watched a few of his movies recently. And I started to realize that it's 1125. Not that I think it makes a difference. It is 11 one or 11. But it's Elbow 1125. I'm guessing that's an important date to him. So. Um, Alright, so when you go through this, it, it, it'll give you an error. If, if there's an issue with any of your plugins, what will end up happening is it'll be game fiber tick at, and then it'll kind of tell you the bit of code, and then it'll tell you the mod that it's for. So let's say your Siren Mastery just crashed. What's going to end up happening is it, in your log, in your Rage plugin hook log, um, even the one in the game, it'll tell you game fiber at this. And what that basically means is it, it could not process the game fiber tick, uh, which is a game fiber tick allows for a mall. It basically takes space and says in your game, and it says, I need you to take space and process this. And so it'll process what you want it to process. 
Um, so like each one of people's mods, each function in that mod is going to have a different game fiber. So different callouts. Uh, if I'm understanding this correctly, you there will be a game fiber tick per callout. So let's use assorted callouts from Elbow. He's got the bank heist, he's got like uh, drunk driving, buzz driving, being on the phone. These are all separate game fiber ticks. So you'll know that when it tells you it has a game fiber tick at this with this plugin, you'll know that that plugin is what's causing the issue. And I'll, I'll even go into seeing if I can go and crash my game. And, but uh, I will do that in a, another video. As for this one, this is just for your Rage plugin hook. Um, again, like scene director log. This is something I do for myself. This it just goes through, start headed this way, camera offset. This kind of goes. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. But it just it, they go through different versions. Uh, script hook V has. Uh, actually, I'm really glad I found this. Uh, let's see. Seatbelt and better crash damage. Screaming ninja pads. Real cars. Map editor, main, and, and it's just the Hollywood rollover script, improved copter actions, and script domain. It, it tells you it's like this is debugged, all debugged. Uh, it tells you loading assembly for the adrenaline shot, loading the assembly for this. Uh, my car seating script is right here, uh, which you can find on GTA 5 car seating mods. And Honestly, you can just go through, um, again, open camera, initialize started, initialize finished. If, if you think there's an issue with anything in particular, everything will cover it. So anything that is a strict plugin, right here, strict plugin, this is a strict plugin. This goes in here and is ran by Rage Plugin Hook. Is all going to end up in your Rage Plugin Hook log. Um, everything from your scripts that uses script hook v.net, which is most of all of this stuff, including my car seating mod, which is all found in the script hook v.net um, log. There's also the script hook log, and this registers ELS. My Lua, my Lua is basically what patches in for the, the script hook v.net. This takes care of everything. Script hook is amazing. They're pretty much awesome. Um, but it goes through and it, it just shows you the trainer. It just shows you everything that's wrong with it. And this is an actual um, bit of code that's going to be ran. This is hexadecimal. Um, and if it's what ends up happening is. When Windows ups, updates, they update this file location. This right here, that what I have highlighted, they will update this location. So they'll end up going in there, they'll change this. So that means uh, Trainer 5 has to go back in and, and redo this, and, and script hook v.net has to go in and do this, and Lua has to do this. Uh, but sometimes they don't. Uh, sometimes they don't have to worry about it because it doesn't change. But if it affects something that you're doing specifically, like Rage Plugin Hook, um, so usually Windows will update, and then it'll force Grand Theft Auto to update, or Grand Theft Auto will update just to add their own stuff in, and then it changes these file locations. When it changes these file locations, this is where it's going into your processor to figure out where it needs to go. What needs to process what and where does it need to go. And when they change this, then they have to go in, they have to do an update. Like when GTA 5 changes it, Rage plugin will have to change it. Script. It, it just kind of all floats down. If, if Windows changes it, Everybody's got to change it. If Grand Theft Auto changes it, Rage Plugin Hook, everyone else got to, you know, Script Hook's got to change it. And then it, it tells you all this right here. So if you have an issue with any one of these, it tells you the exact time. It tells you it, whether it's initialized, register, it tells you it's registering the script, 
Well, what's the script? It's the script hook v.net. Um, register, you know, launching main. I'm cleaning my threads. Everything that you guys will need is in these log files. And if you guys need help, I would really highly suggest looking at something like, look right here, default, crash, crash. I don't have to really worry about this because I know where my crashes are at. I know what I do to the game and I have more crashes than I care to admit. But the fact is, it, I figure this stuff out by going in here. If, if I can't figure it out, if I honestly can't figure it out, I usually go to a forum or I go to Google and I try to type in uh, the best that I can. If you just type in a simple error code, what's going to end up happening is sometimes you might get an error code specific to GTA, but if you get like a system error code, then there could be so many different ways to solve it that even Googling it's not going to help you. You, get, you. you have to look for the specific area where they're crashing. Um, so if you guys like this video, uh, go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe. If you have any more questions, comments, concerns, let me know. And I am trying to make more videos in regards to this. My next video, I'm going to be going into the game and showing you exactly what happens when you crash. So um, be prepared for that. And I will